Consider the yourself. life on the job training. On the job training. Absolutely. Um, what ingredient in your cookbooks could you not live without? Sriracha. I could not live without sriracha. For sure. And that was that was an eye-opening thing. My friend like corrected me. It's like you don't pronounce the first R. It's sriracha. I was like, okay, okay. But yeah, that and I would say, I mean, I could, yeah, extra virgin olive oil, garlic for sure. But I figured that's sort of like a no-brainer. That's like R N S T L and E on Wheel of Fortune. Like you know you need those. So then after that you freestyle. Like R N S T L E is like okay, fine. Salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil. Like sriracha. need I say it? But then like. Sriracha when I go salt. to the K, yeah, that's sriracha. That's like the exterior one. I can't. Give me sriracha or give me death. Which I will, I have made a t-shirt that I will be selling that says that on it. No kidding. My wife is in love with you and she's Vietnamese, so it's all about sriracha, sambal, everything like that. Fish you, sauce. Are you all about Vietnamese food? Like Absolutely. And in fact, what I love so much about traveling, truly, is finding these, and I hate the nomenclature of like ethnic neighborhoods, but finding pockets of um, a culture in a city you don't expect. It was in Des Moines, Iowa, this little Vietnamese district. In Oklahoma City, I had um, an excellent banh mi sandwich. Uh, but I do, in, in New Orleans East, um, Chamet. All the people that work in New Orleans, they're all Vietnamese. Absolutely. All My favorite buffalo wings in all of planet Earth are in New Orleans. It's a place called Bayou Hot Wings. And Alan Wen is uh, one of the two chefs there. And like, you know, you hear him on the phone, he's like, hey, you doing, baby? Welcome back to Nautilus, baby. And then you see him, he's like, here's where you go for like four cafe soda and like ban mi. And you're like, well, okay, wait, what? But uh, no, it's, I love Vietnamese food. I true, I, I love the, there's something about Zhao Zum, the Vietnamese coriander. And in fact, one of my favorite chefs um, in the world is my friend Andrew Le from Pig and the Lady in Hawaii. And he sort of, his mother is the lady, I guess he, I don't know, calls himself the pig. I don't get that, but, but his mother makes homemade sort of sriracha, but he does stuff like beer vinegar with fish sauce and chicken fat and whatever. And he's kind of pushing the envelope of traditional Vietnamese cooking. And I love it. It's amazing. The flavors, combinations, it's crazy. Incredible. Coriander, ginger, garlic, cilantro, super. Favorite three restaurants. I'll give you three. Right now. Um, wow. Okay. Fit. Brasa Premium Rotisserie in Minneapolis has always been pretty awesome. I'm big fan. Yeah, it's Alex Roberts who came to prominence. He won his Beard Award for Alma, which is like fine three course dining. But this is his passion project. And it was like in an old uh, BF Goodrich. And uh, it's on North Hennepin. And he calls it primal food. It's, I guess, Creole, but only not like, you know, is that a ranch, shrimp, and rice? Like, like comidas criollo, like Taino Indian, Central South American, as he calls it, like supremal food. And um, his slow roasted pork, the homemade cornbread, the green sauce. I mean, literally, I go there, I don't even need to look at the menu. I know I want sangria, the homemade tortilla chips, his guac, which, and I, I my guacamole kung fu is very strong. And for me to say his is pretty 